been so tired and drained. This caused a lot of controversy in my DMs. Why am I putting this on? It's actually hard. Brands that I work with and I'm like, I, unfortunately I can't like. Oh my God. So I was like, I need to buy one. Oh my God, you're gonna be so obsessed. Guys are gonna be like, bye. Literally bye. Good morning everyone, happy Monday. So, oh my God, we went to bed at like 2.30 last night just to try and get as many parcels packed as possible because obviously they're coming today to pick it up. Um, I'm gonna try and smash out some more on the floor um, that I've already pre-packed so all I need to do is just pack them because I'm not sure when OzPost is coming, I think between like 10 and 12. So I'm gonna try and get as much of them done as possible. Um, and then Peter's sister is gonna come help me today. We've got 160 left to print and this is how much we've printed. <laughs> so probably like 250, I'd say. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. So yeah, that's just a little update. I'm gonna go and make a coffee and then yeah, start packing. Caramel, dark chocolate, toasty, and smoky. Yum. Hey guys, I literally just got back from the gym. I look so tired. I am so tired. We just went to the shops to get a few supplies because we're both starting keto. So we got some stuff, ham, these are on sale. They're like literally my favorite and they're only 6.4 carbs and two, three sugars. They're literally so good. Donata is also really good. Beans, some cheese slices, garlic butter, cos lettuce, eggs. I found these wraps as well because they are like the same sort of brand, well obviously the worst brand, but I used to have the pizza bases in this like lower carb, I don't know what it's called, lower carb, high protein bread, I don't know. Um, but this only has 5.6 carbs in it, which is not bad and only 109 calories. So I'm gonna try that tonight with some roast chicken. We got some beef mints. Some broccolini as well, cucumber. I had to get some no shoe donuts. Some more eggs. A shitload of barramundi. Steak. I got these crackers because I was obsessed with them when I was on keto. They like literally taste amazing with, I used to have them with avocado and tomato, like cherry tomatoes, it's so good. Red onion. And then that's just the broccolini and another no she don't not. But yeah, that's everything that we got. Guys, I've been the worst vlogger ever. The worst. So I've been, I honestly did not expect to be doing this today, but I'm still packing orders. Um, I thought we'd get it all done yesterday, to be honest. And then we had like 37 overnight, still some coming through today. Um, and Peter went to work today. He did have the chance to not go, but I was like, nah, surely we'll be done by last night. Not done. So I literally got up at six this morning. I went to bed at like 1 a.m. last night. Um, I'm actually gonna, look up how many orders we've done since Friday because it's definitely more than the first launch and I thought that was crazy so um how many how do I hmm I swear I could see oh my god 825 no wonder i was like i feel like it's sort of similar to last launch 
Dude. <laughs> I thought it was like 700. 825. I guess that does include the VIPs, which was around 20. Oh my good. Like, no wonder I'm still going and it's Tuesday. Holy shit. But yeah, it's been so good. I'm just really, really tired because today it was just me doing it. Peter's mum's coming over soon and she's going to help me like pack. Thank God for her, honestly. And Peter's sister helped out yesterday, which was such a big help because it does help when like I'm doing one thing and someone else is doing the other thing. Yeah, that's a little update. I just had a um, wrap. I had a bacon, egg and avocado wrap. These are amazing. I don't know why I haven't seen them before. When I posted these on my Instagram, people were like, old news, like that's been in Woolies for ages. And I was like, well, I live in Perth, AKA we get shit last. So yeah, really, really good. And obviously keto friendly. It's only got 5.6 carbs and one sugar and it's only 109 cows per wrap. So I'm definitely gonna be um, adding these to my weekly shop. Um, so easy just to chuck shit in a wrap. Um, like a brekkie wrap or even like a chicken Caesar wrap. I had a chicken wrap last night. I'm going to have barramundi for dinner tonight with some broccolini and garlic butter. Yum. Um, so yeah, I, I have noticed one thing since starting keto. I know it's only been like two days, but like I'm just not hungry at all. Like I don't even have the littlest bit of like, oh, I should go get a treat or like, I don't know. Like I've just... My appetite is just gone, um, which is a good thing because like I said, I'm like a cereal snacker um, when I'm bored especially, but like I have been like super busy obviously. So food hasn't been like on my mind, but when I'm just like sitting down on my phone, like editing or like editing a photo, I'm just I'll, like, all I think about is food. But in saying that, I say that now, um, I do feel like a sweet chicks keto treat. She dropped them off last week and I'm like almost finished them. I'm going to have to message her actually and be like, I need more to get me through because they're like the only thing that's getting me through because I have such a sweet tooth. Um, what else do I have to update you guys on? Nothing. I've literally just been in that room all day. It's 2 p.m. My eyes, like I'm going to have the best sleep tonight. I'm going to sleep in until 9 tomorrow. <gasps> that sounds so good i'm so excited um but yeah i just i've like had no sleep the past like three nights worth it 100 percent worth it but like i just can't wait to have my own little space and hopefully have more helpers next time um or workers whatever um so yeah okay i'm gonna get my shit together i've got another i think i've got another 60 orders to pack and that's it I think until someone else places an order, but yeah, um, I'm going to go now. I'm going to have a little treat. I might make a little afternoon coffee because I feel like I need it and I will update you guys maybe when I'm having dinner. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. This week has gone so quick. Like it feels like Monday. Look at my nails. I'm getting them done today. I don't think I've ever had nails grow out this much before. <sighs> There's like this much gap. Um, yeah, so I'm just about to make a coffee and then head to the gym, I think. Yeah, it's Wednesday, I've got PT. Um, yeah, head to the gym and then I'm gonna get my nails done this afternoon. This week is my like appointment week. I always try and like get all my appointments done in like the one week. So I've got skin on Friday and then Saturday I'm getting my hair done. I'm gonna get more foils. I'm so excited to be lighter. I just feel so brown because my hair's grown out so much and then the pink kind of makes it look darker because it's like a dark pink. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get a full head of foils and then I'm gonna do like a soft pink toner for Christmas, I think, because I'm loving the pink. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make a coffee now and I need to just pack some orders that I got yesterday. I did a little mini huggy restock and I got about 60 orders. <laughs> just when I thought I was done. Nah. Um, obviously I'd rather, you know, get rid of everything or like sell everything before we leave. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that just before I get ready and then head to the gym.
Okay, for once I'm not running awfully late. I just went and packaged up some last minute orders. The car is so loud. I'm going to go get my nails done at Luna. I've got her a little prezzy. Um, wait, will I, I probably will see her before I go away. I'm not sure whether to get like Christmas nails or wait until like my next appointment. But then I think like Christmas is kind of like over. Not really because it'll be before the 24th. But like my birthday is January 4th. So maybe I can get like birthday nails for when I leave and like something a bit Christmassy. Maybe like gold. Something gold. But my nails have grown out so much. I need to put her address in maps because I still don't know my way around Perth. By the way, this jumpsuit is from Myra Swim. It's what I got last week. I'm obsessed with it. Um, okay, let me chuck on the maps because I'm actually hopeless. Why is this cold on the floor? I just made myself a protein shake, a berry protein shake for the road. All right. Let's chuck this on. I'm gonna go, I'll show you guys my nails when I finish them, but my plans for today is to come home. I still need to print off around 60 orders from last night. So I just finished off yesterday's orders and then I still have last night's orders to go. Hey guys, I just got home from getting my nails done. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to flip you around. They're so, these are probably my favorite nails. Okay, does it wanna focus or? Wow. <gasps> Look at them. Oh my God, how freaking nice. I'm obsessed. Like, I can't deal. Anyways, I'm making bacon and eggs in a wrap because if you know me, when I'm addicted or if I like a meal, I have it until I get over it. So I'm gonna be having my wraps, the low carb wraps with bacon, egg, and avocado. I literally had the exact same meal yesterday. What? Wait, that's a pizza face. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, so I'm gonna have this again because I love it. I'm feeling like I need to go for a freaking nap. Like I'm so tired. I'm gonna have a sleep in tomorrow for sure. Like I can barely keep my eyes open. That is the wrap. I'm gonna grab some avocado. I like low key, like my bacon burnt. I know it's kind of bad for you to have burnt food, is it? Like it's not the best, but yeah, my bacon is like super crispy. I'm gonna get an avo. They're all hard. Yeah, I don't know about the avo because they're all hard. Finish. Oh, it's hard. I hate hard avocados. They're literally worse than non spotty bananas. Mm. Yeah, see? I don't know. I don't know. Is it bad that I just took the avocados out of the fridge and put them in the um, pantry? Or is that not right? Anywho. Oh no. Why am I putting this on? It's actually hard. Oh my God, okay. Let me actually taste it. it actually tastes all right, it doesn't taste funny. It's literally like borderline burn, but like, I low key love that. I think I made too much eggs, but look how good these eggs look. Oh, they're like just right. <laughs> oh my God. I might have to eat some of the eggs on their own because that's way too much. I think I cooked two plus some egg whites. And there is my little creation. Oh, my battery is about to die. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this. And then I'm gonna get stuck into fulfilling your orders from today. And that's me done. Like I've literally picked up my vlog camera three times this week. Oh, that's what it feels like anyway. So 
I'm just gonna chat with you guys while I do my makeup because I've got some stuff to film. These couple of weeks have been so fucked. I've never been so tired and drained in my life. I actually got a really good sleep last night and slept in a bit until like 8.30, but I just need to get up early because the postman, like sometimes they come at like 9.30, sometimes they come at one, it just depends. And like, they can't tell you a time. So I have to make sure that all of the orders that were placed the night before um, are out. So you guys can get them as soon as possible. But like, holy shit, I just did not expect, like, I just did not expect it to like blow up like this. Um, like I said, I think in total from the launch last Friday, there was like a total of like 800 and something orders and like we still get them every day. So that's what I've been doing basically every morning. Yesterday I did go to my PT session, um, which was good. And then tomorrow I will as well. I also have a skin appointment tomorrow, which I'm super excited. Why am I keep dropping everything? which I'm super excited for just to like relax, even though I'm probably getting skin needling, like anything that requires me lying down and shutting my eyes, I'm here for. Um, okay, I can't find anything, which is lovely. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna chat, do my makeup and just like relax. I've actually had to even decline some paid work on my Instagram because I'm like, no, because if I accept that, there's just absolutely no way I'd be able to like do it properly or like just, I don't know. I'm not in the right headspace at the moment to take on more work. So it's been, well, it's frustrating because they're brands that I work with and I'm like, I, unfortunately I can't, like I can't, I just can't fit it in. So I'm actually glad that I just said no, because usually being like the busy person I am, I just love to be busy, obviously. Um, but yeah, I just needed to take some time to just relax, especially just December is so crazy with like, um, promo. Let me just go wet this. Hold on. As I was saying, December is usually crazy for content creators and stuff like that because obviously because of Christmas. So yeah, I'm just going to sit down and do my makeup. I need to film some content that I did agree to do a couple weeks ago, so I just had to do that. My tan's all crusty <laughs> on my arms. Oh my God, I need to redo my tan. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just do my makeup, film the content that I need to film. And then Peter really wants to go to this shop in the city to see if they've got this top. So I thought I would, that's probably Ozpost BRB. Okay, all is good. That was good that he came a bit earlier actually. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I've just been the busiest I've pretty much ever been in my life. Um, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Like I'm so obsessed with my new business and I'm so excited to see what next year will bring. Hopefully it won't be packing your orders from my spare room. <laughs> um, but yeah, everyone obviously starts somewhere and I was just so lucky to have like you guys behind me supporting it. So it can be as successful as it has been. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish off my makeup. I don't really have that much to update. Like that's literally what I've been doing every morning. Wake up, make my coffee. Where is, maybe I'll just use a translucent. Yeah, wake up, make my coffee. And I've been fasting as well until like lunchtime because I haven't been hungry. Like literally, that is why I love keto. I just am never hungry. Um, and yeah, so I've been like fasting until about lunchtime and I'll have my first meal then. Well, technically I break my fast with my coffee because I have almond milk. But um, yeah, I just have a coffee when I wake up to wake me up. And then I'll have my first meal around like 12, 1, like lunchtime. So that's pretty much like what I've been doing. Plus I just haven't had time to eat. Like I know that sounds so fucked up but I actually have it, you know? I obviously have been eating, don't worry. But when you're just so busy, you don't even think about food, <laughs> which is, I guess, a good thing in a way. Not really, but um, yeah, that's
that's just my life at the moment. So sorry if this vlog is boring as fuck. I'm going to do an unboxing because I got a bunch of PR after this, after I did my hair and put some clothes on. <laughs> I'm going to sit down and unbox something. I also got a package that caused a little bit of a controversy on Instagram. So I had absolutely no idea that this brand um, was not bad, but like apparently there's been some issues with their products, like hair falling out, hair like, I don't even actually know. It's just dangerous for your hair. Um, I'll show you, but it's, uh, I've never actually heard of the brand before or have I? I feel like maybe I have unless they have like different products, but it, it came in a really beautifully packaged PR package. Like I'll give them that, it was absolutely stunning. Um, but yeah, apparently like even my hairdressers were like, do not use this product, like it will fuck your hair. So I'm like, oh my God. So I ended up deleting the photo. I might, wait, I didn't save it. I'll obviously show you in the vlog anyways, but yeah. I was like, holy fuck, like, I don't know, like, do they know about this? That is just bizarre to me. Like, I never usually, like, if something, like, someone doesn't like something that I post, I wouldn't normally, like, publicly, you know, write, oh, this is shit. Like, I haven't even tried it, so I can't say it's shit, but, like, the amount of DMs that I got um, replying to that story saying, do not promote this, like, basically telling me to delete it because it's that fucked up. I was like, oh my God, I need to like address this. And like, I ended up deleting it. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what the goal is there, but I'll show you that later. Um, but yeah, I actually don't even know what to say. I've been that busy. I don't even know what day it is, to be honest. <gasps> oh my God. And I've got so much on like over the next couple weeks. So I organized something for Peter's, ooh, that, highlight is blinding it's the laura geller gilded honey i love it um yeah so i organized something for peter's birthday which is on the 23rd but i organized something for the 21st and the 22nd i'm not going to say in case he watches my videos even though i know he doesn't um but i don't know just in case he happens to hear me editing this part or something but yeah i've organized something for those two nights so we're obviously going away but like I felt like I needed to do something for his birthday because like it's his birthday, but like we leave to the Gold Coast on the 24th. So literally we're away 21st, 22nd. I'm going to have to be pre-packed. 21st, 22nd, 23rd is his birthday. Not sure what we're doing for his actual birthday. And then 24th morning we leave Christmas Eve. Do I start packing now? I think I'm going to have to. Like, honestly, I think I'm actually going to have to. Where's my, oh, I'll try this. I'm actually going to have to pack now or start planning on like what to bring because I'm going somewhere in January, which I'm, I'm that fucking excited to just not only just go away, but like go on a holiday, like, and just do nothing, <laughs> literally no work, nothing. I'll obviously vlog. Duh. That's not work though. Like I don't find this work. Um, so yeah, you guys are going to be like, bye. Literally bye. That is what's happening in January. I'm like, oh, I just want it to be the 24th of December already. Like, honestly, fuck this year. <laughs> not gonna lie. It's been a very good year for me, but I know it's been not the best year for a lot of people. Well, I mean, it's been good. Yes and no. Like, the traveling part sucks, but like, the stuff that I accomplished this year is definitely one to remember. Like I launched my brand. Um, yeah, I, this is probably one of my best years yet, to be honest with you, like in terms of work, but it's just been, an, it, it's just annoying. It's an annoying year. Like, you know, coronavirus really fucked us up. Okay. What am I doing for my eyes? I'm probably not even going to edit this part of the video, to be honest. So have fun hearing me talk to myself basically. Oh my God. There's a dog next door. Actually, I don't even know if it's next door. I feel like it's like behind us. Can you hear him? I was like, okay, fair enough. It's a puppy. Like they've locked him outside, you know, 
fair enough. Like he's just crying because he wants to get inside. But this has been going since we literally moved here. Actually, no, that's an exaggeration. At least six months. Like, I don't know if they're home or if they're not home and they leave him outside, but like he does not stop. Like it is so loud sometimes when I'm like filming stuff, I have to like refilm it because you'll just hear like this massive like yelp like or cry it's fucked hope he's all right but like surely you can't be a puppy forever like relax anyways i'm just doing something real basic like i normally do peter's just at the gym um and then yeah like i said i'm just getting ready so i'm gonna film a little hair tutorial and some stories I hate when I get foundation on my earrings. It's so annoying. But um, what are you guys doing for Christmas? Comment down below. I want to chat. Um, are you just staying with your family? Are you going away? I don't think I've ever like gone away like on holidays for Christmas. Oh wait, no, that's a lie. Two Christmases ago, we were in Canada. But like, yeah. So that was like the only Christmas that we were away from our family. But like literally every Christmas we just chill um at either mum's house barker's house yeah that's pretty much it and we usually do christmas lunch so we never really do christmas dinner i know a lot of people do christmas dinners but we have i don't think we've ever had it's always like a massive woggy <laughs> christmas lunch with lots of nice croatian food oh i'm like that that keen mum and barker in the kitchen is just perfection i'm so excited so yeah, that'll be um, our Christmas. I think it's just gonna be at mom's with the whole fam. Um, and then we might go over to Riley's that night um, just because we get, yeah, we get to Gold Coast on the 24th night. So like, we'll be so tired, we'll probably just go to sleep and then we'll wake up on Christmas morning. And then, yeah, obviously spend the day with fam. And then, where's my eyeliner? Got a brown, that might work. Um, yeah, so, and then we might go to Riley's um, at night or like after we've finished our Christmas lunch, go see her, give her her prezi. I'm so excited. Um, and I'm just so excited to see her new house. It looks so good from what I've seen. Actually, no, it's literally amazing. So we might stay there for a few nights as well while I'm there. I actually don't mind brown eyeliner. Doesn't look as harsh. Cute. Okay, let me just do the other side. Also, what do you guys have like food wise for Christmas? What do we usually have? I think mum cooked like Wagyu, she had like Wagyu, it was so yum. Um, or a turkey. We just make a bunch of random yum shit. It's so freaking good. I'm so excited to eat my body weight in food. Oh yeah, that's right. We're going to, for Peter's birthday, like dinner, we're going to Atrium in the casino here in Perth. If you haven't been to Atrium, oh my God, you need to go. It is the best buffet. I'm not even joking. It is so yum. They have literally every single food you can think of. So excited. I'm literally gonna fast that whole day so I can just eat my whole entire body weight and food that night. Honestly, I feel like you need to though. Like when you go to a buffet, do you just starve yourself that day and then just go ham? Because like, I feel like it's not worth it if you spend like, for example, $100 on a buffet and you only have one plate. Like best believe I'll be fucking having five plates worth of food and five plates worth of dessert. Like I can assure you that will be me. Um, where's my mascara? Let's try this Huda Beauty mascara. So this other side is for length and then volume. Let's go do length first. I've been obsessed with just wearing mascara recently um i do like five layers of mascara but i swear it just looks like i'm wearing falsies 
when you do that. And I never used to layer my mascara. I always used to think I had shit lashes because this is what I would do. I'd be like, done. Wait for it. Literally just do five layers. I mean, it is a pain in the ass to remove, not gonna lie. But if you want the illusion of wearing false lashes, you gotta layer. I'm just talking shit at this point. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, so I've just been doing that, but I might, I don't know if I'll stick on false lashes, probably not, to be honest. Even though I'm meant to be taking a nice photo. Okay. Hey guys, so we just got back from the city. I didn't end up vlogging just because it was so muggy and hot and I just, I don't know, I just couldn't be bothered. I just, to be honest, wanted to go home. <laughs> I hate being hot and I wore jeans. I don't know why. Anyways, it was a successful trip. We got a present, we got a gift card for someone and then I went into Nespresso because I don't normally buy like an espresso coffee even though we have an espresso machine so we went into Nespresso and got some pods we just got some of the limited edition ones Peter likes strong coffee so we got that one um, I got the creme brulee which I'm going to try right now because I'm super excited this one is called Chiaro I'm not sure we just grabbed a bunch cocoa truffle which would be like a chocolate flavor and then this one so that's what we ended up getting from nespresso like i said i'm gonna try this one right now now i'm gonna show you guys what i got in my po box a couple days ago um including the package from that hair care brand that everyone was like blowing my dms up about literally and i also got a top up of genora i did some stories this morning so they're my open ones so i just got a Top up of Beauty Brain, Renew, and some Naked Collagen, which is actually what Peter uses um, in his coffees every morning. Sometimes I do when I forget to have that, which is very rare because I literally love it. I'll put this in my coffees and it's unflavored, so you can't taste anything, but I love flavored stuff, so love. I got some more Milk Labs almond milk. I know it's not necessarily keto just because I'm pretty sure the carbs are like six grams per serving, but like, it's worth it. It's worth every gram because Milk Labs Armour Milk is so superior to any other Armour Milk. It froths amazing. It tastes amazing. I'm obsessed. So I got a 12 pack from Catch of the Day for like $35. So I'm going to go get that now. I'll go get um, a bottle, but I'll show you guys what else I got. I'm going to write something on the screen. with yeah it's seven grams of carbs it's got quite a bit of sugar well not quite a bit but it's got 4.3 which is you know when you're on keto you're trying to avoid sugar and stuff like that like it's not the best macros but it's honestly the best freaking almond milk ever so yeah i think it was around 30 dollars for 12 of them so i'm gonna use one of them now i don't need all of them i'll just keep two up um, and make a coffee. By the way, this top is from Boohoo and these are from Peter Alexander like literally five years ago. I got a low carb emporium order. So I really wanted to try these. I actually really like this brand. It's called Wholesome Provisions. Super random, but yeah, they're chips. These chips are so good. I might actually have them now. They're so nice and they're only three grams of carbs for the whole pack. And they don't taste like proteiny, kind of like the, um, let me pull you up so you can see my face. They don't taste like the Quest chips. You know how they have like a weird aftertaste? So yeah, they're really, really good for like a protein chip alternative. Um, I might make nachos tonight. Oh my God, Peter's going to be stoked with them. Um, just some more because they're like so good to snack on. I got this bread in a mug, decadent chocolate keto thing because like why not 
I got some more good sauce. So this is the um, tomato sauce I've been using for years. It's amazing, clean ingredients, no sugar. And it just tastes like normal tomato sauce. Like you wouldn't even taste the difference, but it's just amazing. So I got barbecue and tomato. By the way, I have a code for low carbon for him. It's jazz 5%, I'm pretty sure. So there's barbecue. And then I stocked up, I got, what are these? Oh yeah, tamari, yum. I'm running low on tamari. I got some more. It's kind of like a healthy version of soy sauce. Um, what else? Oh yeah, tomato sauce. They also make a really good sweet chili sauce too. I think I grabbed one as well. So tomato. This is another barbecue. Got two barbecue ones. So as my battery died. I also got some wraps. This one's really nice. I liked them last time. I got them power wraps. Although I do really like the Woolies ones that I've been getting. They're really nice. Um, oh my god. Mm, look how many chips we got. I think I got like 10 packets, but they're actually really good, seriously. Like if you're on keto and you miss chips, best, yeah, best keto chips I've tried. Got some more of these. Okay, they're not really low carb, but they're a better alternative because they're sugar free. I did get a few DMs when I posted these on my stories the other day saying, but you can just buy LCM and they're the same calories and macros. Well, technically no, because LCMs are full of sugar. This only has 0.5 grams of sugar. It, it is quite carby for keto, 7.7, but like, obviously these are way better of an alternative. Um, and they actually taste really good. Like I think I prefer these over LCMs anyway. So yeah, a really good low carb, like slash keto snack, just depending on like what you're eating. Um, and if you are strict on staying under 20 grams, which I'm not really tracking my carbs this time around. Like I am obviously eating keto, but like I, you know, some days I may be going over 20, some days I might be 40. Then I just got a pasta sauce. You can just get these ones from Coles, but I just thought may as well add it all in the one order. Um, and then this is like the chocolate section, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> I ordered about 10 of these. These are my favorite flavor of the Smart Protein Bars. Like I said, you can get them from Low Carb Emporium or Elite Subs. You can get them actually in a 12 pack from Elite Subs. Um, and then I, <laughs> these are literally melted. Little white chocolate coconut rough, the Vitaworks ones. These are incredible. If you've never tried Vitaworks, bye. Um, I'm gonna make, yeah, I'm gonna make these into a protein bar. So I'm just gonna maybe use my air fryer for CBF waiting 13 minutes. Even though they do taste better in the oven. Oh well, I'm putting it in the air fryer. Okay, so. Also, my Thermomix was shipped yesterday. I'm so excited. I won't have that much time to play around with it before I leave, though. Um, and apparently there's a uh, something that you can buy that has low-carb recipes, like slash keto recipes with the, with the Thermomix, which is super cool, too. Okay, so I've just broken it up into little sections. Five minutes on like 180 ish. I need to do the dishes. I hate doing the dishes. Like literally hate it. Okay, I'm gonna show you my PR mail. That was sent to my PO box the other day. That's my PO box for those that wanna know. Um, okay, I'll start off, I'll do that one last. <laughs> the PR that caused a lot of controversy. Anyways, let's start with this one. This one's really sweet from a girl from Huskier Creative. She decorated, oh, she sent me some decorations. Well, I mean, she did decorate them as well. They're like ceramic. How cute is that for the tree? I might actually take that to mum's house because mum's tree is really like rustic looking. So I feel like these would be amazing on her tree. So I'm gonna take them with me to Queensland, but thank you so much for sending me them. Super, super cute. All right, so we've got some lip products. Australia's number one lip gloss. If you've watched my vlogs for ages, you'll know that 
I literally used to use this in my kit. When I was working as a makeup artist, I used to always have this in my kit. I love it. Like it's really, really like it's a actually really good clear gloss, like and very affordable as well. So it's called the Oh My Gloss. They've got it in a pinky shade too, but highly recommend if you're on the hunt for a nice lip gloss that's not sticky and is affordable. I haven't tried these ones, but they're like lip plumpers. These I haven't really tried properly, but they're just like their lasting finish matte um, lipsticks. But thank you so much for sending that. Carla sent me some stuff from her new brand, which I'm actually gonna use today or tomorrow. She just launched her brand called With Carla. Super cool. Some brush cleaners. Like, look at the packaging. It's just so gorgeous. So this one is the Brush Defense Strawberries and Cream. Peter told me to save this for him because he's obsessed with gingerbread men. And this one, I think, is in lavender. Yeah, this one is in lavender. But how cute is, like, the little package? Thank you so much. I'm so excited to try. I actually need to clean my brushes ASAP. So I'm definitely going to give these a go and I'll let you know. I'll probably vlog it knowing me. And then I got a package from Alaya Skin. I actually needed some more vitamin C um, serum. So love this packaging. That's the product. I'll give it a whirl. But every time I go and get my skin done, they always mention using vitamin C serums on your face. So thank you so much for that. It's such a shame to like have to waste that. Like I get that it's for like PR and for influencers to take photos and stuff of, but like that's just gonna go in the bin. Like that would have costed a bit of money. Probably not that much, but you know what I mean. Okay, so this is the package. Oh wait, one more. From Fenty Beauty. So I think they are coming out with these new gloss bomb colors for Christmas or something like that. So here they are. They're actually really gorge, these colors. I love this top one. So them, and then I think there's just like, they're like dark colors. That one's really nice too. I feel like Peter's mom would wear that. Anyways, that's from Fenty Beauty. So thank you so much guys. And then this is the package that I was talking about on my stories, but I didn't really want to like elaborate on my stories just because I just would have found that really rude and I wouldn't want them to be like offended or I don't know, like I'm not like that, like, yeah. Anyways, so they kindly sent me their, I don't know if it's new or they just sent me their product. Um, yeah, so this is, I, I, I'll have to give them a 10 out of 10 for packaging and presentation. Like it is, looks stunning. They sent me two bucket hats, not sure why. I guess maybe one for Peter. But their packaging is just absolutely stunning. Like, look at this. And then like their actual product packaging as well. I'm literally sitting on the floor in my hallway. Big vibe. Okay, this is it. Flip it around. Shit, the lighting's like not the best. But um, yeah, so this caused a lot of controversy in my DMs. This is the shampoo and conditioner that, yeah, didn't really agree with a lot of people. Apparently the reviews have said that it's, it can cause like really bad damage to the hair, especially bleached hair like mine. Um, it can cause your hair to fall out. So if you know anything more, let me know in the comments. Like, let me know, like, how did I not know about this? Even Riley was like, dude, that, that shit is fucked. I was like, I, how did I not know? I've never seen this brand in my life. Like, I feel like I've seen, unless they're a part of Monday's skincare, I don't know, or if they're a completely different brand. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure, or is that Sunday's skincare? I don't know. Um, yeah, so I had absolutely no idea that this brand, one, existed, and two, had really bad reviews. Even my hairdresser from the Gold Coast, she was like, don't use that, throw it in the bin. And I was like, wow, maybe I should actually research the brands that I show on my social media, but like, I just would have never thought that from a product that looks like that, if you get what I mean. Like, fair enough if the product looked a bit dodge or like, I don't know, but like, it just looks beautiful. Like these would just look really nice in my shower. 
you know, maybe I'll just use them as a prop. Surely I put them in my spare bathroom or something because they just look so nice. But yeah, uh, that was, yeah, very surprising. So that's everything that I got. I'll open up my last one, but I I'm pretty sure it's from ColourPop Cosmetics. Um, yeah, I'll quickly open that and then I'm going to have to dispose all of this cardboard and I'm going to, I think I'm going to organize my makeup room. I do have quite a few orders as well to fulfill, but I guess I could just wake up a bit earlier tomorrow and just do them before the postman arrives or do them tonight. It's not really a rush. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and do what I just said that I was going to do, even though I just want to sit down on the floor. <laughs> Hey guys, happy Friday. I didn't end up going to the gym this morning. Not sure if you've seen on my Instagram, but Haley, my PT's grandpa, went missing. It's now the third day, so three days ago, which is like, I'm just picturing that happening to me and my family. Crazy. So if you're from Perth, he was last seen in Dianella. Oh, that's where he lives. Um, but they think they did locate his car opposite i can't remember the um it's basically a cemetery probably the closest cemetery near dianella um they found his car but not him so if you are from perth or around that area keep an eye out um i did post on my facebook if that helps you can just type my name in jazz hand and there'll be a photo of him but i will be posting on my instagram um hopefully until he's found so fingers crossed they find him soon. So yeah, I haven't, I didn't go to the gym this morning. I woke up to so many parcels. I did a little mini restock. Um, I just did like a stock count of the Huggies and I put more up this morning. But look what arrived this morning. It's a Thermomix. I got my Thermomix. I'm gonna do a FaceTime call with the consultant that I bought it from. Um, she was like, I can just do the unboxing with you so you, you like know how to use it and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna do that when I get home. So I'm just about to go to get my skin done. I think I'm gonna have to get another peel because I'm still congested around here. Unless she thinks that needling will be okay. I'm not sure, but I received two packages earlier today. American Eagle jeans, Princess Polly top, before you ask. Let me go around and get it. Oh my gosh, I've already read the note. It's from Blossom by Ash. I just, I can't deal with her. She sent me a gift when I launched Jazz Handmade, like some beautiful flowers, and now she sent me, it looks like a little hamper. Um, and then the card says, we just want to thank you for your work in 2020. We appreciate the effort you go in when working with our brand. Can't wait to show you what we have been up to. Bring on 2021 Blossom by Ash team. Stop it. I, oh, I am obsessed with Blossom by Ash. They're my favorite candles ever. And I just love her. Like she is killing it. Oh shit. That almost fell on my feet. If you haven't, or if you, if you are looking for like a last minute gift idea, take a look at her candles on her website. They're incredible. Okay, I can't. Like this packaging though. Ready? Oh my God, it's like a cocktail. Belvedere Vodka Espresso Martini. Oh my God, I'm gonna take this. Actually, I can't say it, but I'll share later. I'm gonna take this with me in a couple of weekends. Okay, I'm gonna show you what's inside. So, we have some coffee beans, some vodka, coffee liqueur, is there ingredients? I mean, a method? Yep, okay, ingredients, blah, 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 method. Oh, and a shaker. No. I've actually always wanted one of these. Not like I make cocktails or like drink that often, but now I have my own, my own shaker. This is amazing. What's the company? Do you, it's called the Hamper Emporium if you want to check them out. Um, cool little gift idea. 
That is so cool. A little shot glass. Okay. Okay, that's, that is bougie AF. Okay, so that toffee popcorn brittle. Sorry. And then we've got some syrup. I think it's just sugar, TBH. <laughs> Literally sugar syrup. And what's this? Cold filter coffee. Oh my God, how cute is this notebook? That is so cool. Thank you so much, Blossom by Ash. I don't know if you'll be watching this, but I'm sure I'll put it on my stories. But how freaking cool is this little gift? So, so thoughtful. Thank you so, so much. What have we got? Watermelon Crush. Aloe Vera. What? That is so cool. Vanilla Caramel. Then we've got, ooh, Parad Paradiso, Paradiso. Oh my God, that smells so tropical. I love the packaging on that one, it's so cute. I think that's it, oh, one more. We've got the aloe vera gel. I think that's it. They just put in a lot of these peanut things. Um, my code still works for Hideaway as well. That's probably another really cool uh, gift idea as well. Like, literally. I think they do like packs and stuff like that for Christmas. Well, they would. Um, yeah, my code still works for Hideaway. It's just Jazz and I think it gets you 15% off. So yeah, that's just some stuff that I got today. I obviously did get the Thermo Mix as well, but I'm gonna wait until I have that FaceTime call to set it up properly. I don't even know where I'm gonna put it. Are you meant to like keep it out? I might like ditch that in the corner and like leave it in the corner. Cause yeah, I don't really have that much space on my kitchen bench, TBH, but like, it's not really something that you take out and like, you know, yeah, I might put it there. I wonder how big it is. Anyways, I'm gonna go drop off the parcels that I just packed and then head to Erin Aesthetics. Good morning, guys. Yes, I've just done a full face of makeup. Let me just chuck you guys down here. I'm about to go and get my hair done actually. Like, look at my hair. I haven't had foils in four months. I try and not to have foils as often because obviously bleaching your hair is not the best for it. Um, but I'm going a full head of foils today. I'll probably be in the salon for a couple of hours, but um, I'm not sure if I should do like a light pink toner for Christmas or go blonde again. I don't know, I really like the pink. I might do some like a pastel pink like this like all over, but it'll be like from here. I'm not sure. Would that be a bit too full on? Anyways, um, look what arrived yesterday. I'm just about to jump on a FaceTime call. <sighs> My thermo mix, how pretty. Actually, I need to really set it up before she calls me in literally five minutes. So I think I'm gonna put it here which means I need to move this crap because we like to use it. Give it a wipe down. Let me just give this a little wipe. That's my code. with the thermo but um when i ordered through the consultant this was like a bonus gift or something so i'll leave that there i'll try and vlog like when we're on facetime and then you also get this little cookbook um i really want to get the is it the skinny mixes recipe book um because apparently that has like low carbon keto meals but like they look amazing. And then obviously just like a care guide thing, not care guide, um, manual or something. Okay, I need to like, what do we use more often? We don't really use the kettle, so I might put that down here. So anyways, I am, like I said, I'm about to go on FaceTime with the consultant. I'll leave her name down below. She's actually from the Gold Coast, but 
you don't really have to have a consultant where you live, like you're just ordering through them and then they sort of go through everything with you um, and like help set you up and if you have any questions. But usually like I guess you can find consultants like in your own city and they can actually come to your house and teach you how to use it. But because I know her, like I just feel a bit more comfortable and like I feel like FaceTime's fine. Um, so yeah. I'm going to wait for her call, I'll try vlog, and I'm just going to go and make a coffee um, while I wait. So just press. Press it in. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, so excited. Have you used one before or what do you know about it or not like it? I've oh. never used one in my life, but I see everyone using it and I get jealous. So I was like, I need to buy one. Oh my god, you're going to be so obsessed. So that goes in your lid. In here. On top. So it, it, the great thing about this one is actually if, if you sit it in, don't turn around the other way. That way. So, so you can actually, you lift your lid off now. If you leave that in, see how it holds? Yeah. With the old machines you had to, they, they never held in like that. So pretty ah. much what it's saying, little dog. Oh, yeah. So that's what we, and if you lift on, in. it should have locked your lid down yep. and it'll start burning. Okay. So that little, so that little spoon, that's what we call soft speed. And yep. if you turn Hair is done. Oh my God, look how good it looks. It looks so bright. Um, so we just went for a like pastel pink just because it'd be way easy to maintain over Christmas. We cut it a bit shorter. We cut it about, we cut about this much off actually, but I'm obsessed. This is from Princess Polly, by the way. Um, I think my code would still work. JH20? Yeah. Yeah, JH20. Um, I'm about to, I don't know, do I make something in the Thermomix now or do I wait till dinner? But like, it is so pretty. I'm so excited. I didn't actually get a chance to go through the, it's called cookie dough. No, cookie dough. Probably saying that so wrong. It's like an app that um, has all the recipes um, that's like inbuilt. Basically this in an app. So... I saved one recipe, which was keto or low carb enchiladas. A lot of you guys said that that one's good. Um, but I did also get, oh, what was the name? Is it Skinny Mixes? Not that one, but I am going to look into that one. But it's called Something and Chef. Thermo and Chef. Thermo, Low Carb and Chef ebooks. I got them, but I'll definitely look into the skinny mixes as well. I signed up to both their mailing lists because apparently they like send out heaps of free recipes. So I did that, but yes, I am so excited. I'm going to go through this book now or even on my app to see what I can make, but I'm definitely going to make something tonight. I've got chicken. I've got steak. What else do I have in the fridge? I've got heaps of other things. And the one thing that, um, my consultant did tell me is if like you're not sure on what to cook and you can like literally in the search you can say just say you've got random ingredients like bacon or cream or like you can literally just search any ingredients so if you don't know what to cook and you've got ingredients you can literally just search bacon recipes and it comes up with like so many recipes with like those ingredients so that would be super helpful um because we don't have like the fullest fridge at the moment because we're getting hello fresh i think tomorrow yeah um but yeah i'm just so excited like to start making stuff with it i might even just make a smoothie now they had a special on when i bought this um so when you buy this you can get this for free like a whole other one so i got that as well which is underneath there might make a coffee actually i still haven't had anything to eat i'm so not hungry it's so weird like i'm not even like peckish or craving something like i'm just nothing like i just don't feel like eating but like i have to eat it's like two o'clock no it's like four it's literally almost five o'clock and i haven't eaten anything all day like i've had a coffee and that's it so like do i make something now like do i have something small i might make a smart protein bar maybe I might do that, make it into a cookie and maybe have another coffee <laughs> and then I'll cook something for dinner, but I will definitely show you guys what we end up making. But I'm thinking those keto enchiladas sound amazing. But yeah, I'm just going to go. I'm not going to do any packing today. I've got, I've got like 30 orders to fulfill. Um, but I'm going to, I'm just going to have a break today and do that tomorrow. 
Um, because Peter has to do a few things around the house tomorrow, so we're not like planning on going anywhere. Oh my god, lemon meringue pie. You can make yogurts, ice cream, dips, pizza, orange juice, bread, nut. Like, do you even need an oven at this stage? No, you wouldn't need an oven. You don't even need to have a kettle. It has a kettle in, like, kettle setting in built in it. So if you want to boil some water, you just press kettle. Like, may as well not even have a microwave. Literally, you can reheat food with it as well. <laughs> so if you're moving into a new house, Fuck getting a kettle and a microwave and a toast. Oh, uh, I don't think it can toast. Fuck getting those and just get a thermo. Noki, far out. Yum. Cauliflower bake. What was that? You can, yeah. I might make some like steamed chicken and veggies. Actually, I might make that and use the top bit and steam some chicken. Oh my god, okay. Maybe I'll do that. I just don't know. Like, there's just so, so many things that I can cook right now. I just, I'm overwhelmed. Okay, I've decided I'm just going to make the chicken and spinach enchiladas. Because it's 5 o'clock. By the time I finish, it'll be 6. That's dinner time. Whatever. I'm hungry. Start cooking. Let's do it. You can actually skip some steps. So if there's some ingredients that you don't like or you don't want to add, you can just skip them. She said, um, preheat oven to 190. Let's do that. 190. There we go. All right. Next. Set aside a baking dish. Oh my God. It's just telling me absolutely everything, isn't it? This one should be fine. Oh, he's Captain Crunch. Lol. Surely that's fine. Yep, done. Place 100 grams of mozzarella. Okay, so I don't have cubes. I'm surely that'll be fine just um, from the... Let me put you on this. So this apparently makes six portions, right? So, like, if you, you know, didn't want so many portions, like, maybe you wouldn't need to add as many ingredients, but this is for six servings, which is perfect. So... Let's just go zero, add 100 grams of mozzarella. This is, how many grams is this? I feel like it's the whole body thing. There we go, that'll do. Next. Oh, do I have parmesan? Next, can you guys see this? Yep. Insert measuring cup into mixing bowl with the lid. Okay, so chucking this on like that. And then the lid. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, I feel like I'm done. Next. Turn speed to seven. Oh my god, this is exciting. Next. Okay, I don't have jarred artichoke, so surely fuck that off. Insert measuring cup into mixing bowl lid. What? I did that. Oh, okay. Well, I've already done that. Transfer into a bowl and set aside. Okay, so I'm meant to take that out. I need two hands for this. Okay, I'm up to step 32, add the cooked chicken. So it was in this. Oh, no, that's not the chicken, that's the spinach. Oh my God, Peter, look. Is it even cooked? Yeah, <laughs> surely. <laughs> nah, it will be cooked, because we're gonna add it into this. Okay, this is gonna be so hard to. It's actually not hot, considering. Chuck that in. Oh, there's some water all over it. Okay, next, add the spinach, which is in here. Oh my god, that literally wilted down to nothing. Okay, 
don't know why I'm doing this. Next, add half of the reserved cheese mixture. Insert measuring cup into mixing bowl, lid, put back on. Oops. Turn speed onto four. chicken. Uh, I've got the low carb wraps here. I'm just using the worst one. So I just used four because I'm not sure if six would fit. I think four would be fine. Next, to assemble, fill six tortillas or low carb wraps of your choice with two to three tablespoons of mixture in each. Okay, I'm going to do like that. Oh, I'm like blocking there. You can't even see what I'm doing. All right, I've assembled them. This one looks a bit sad, but I had enough for one more. So I'm just gonna have it on a separate tray, but oh my God, how good. So I've done that. Roll up and place steam side down into, yep. Topped with this. Oh my God, how good. Add a bit on this one. And then I'm guessing the rest with cheese. Oh, maybe not. What about the cheese? Oh yeah, and cheese. I was like, what? Oh my God, it's ready. Smells incredible. Holy shit. So what was in it was, I'm gonna have this one because it's on its own. I feel like you probably don't need that much cheese. I think I used 100 grams plus 50. So 150 grams altogether, I think literally half cheese, like honestly. Um, I'm gonna have this one. Peter can have them later on, but how good do they look? Oh my God, I'm so excited to try it. So yeah, when you mixed, when I mixed the chicken in with like the tomato mixture, it like shredded it. So I'm super excited to try. I'm gonna put it on a plate and I will give you the final verdict. Guys, what the hell? This is so good. You could definitely top it with some sour cream and guacamole, but oh my God, what? The shredded chicken though. Why don't I let it cool down? Wow, that is so good. I'm gonna go eat this and edit this vlog because I haven't started editing it yet. And I don't really want to do it tomorrow when I'm packing. So I will catch up with you guys probably tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. My hair looks so light, like it's so pastel. I actually really like it, this color. I can make it like that deeper pink because I've got that um, conditioner with the dye in it. So I could make it like that fuchsia, but oh my God, I love it. I just look really weird. I feel like I look weird with pink hair without makeup. My face is really dry from needling, but um, like after I guess like three days, your skin just looks so glowy and smooth, but yeah, it's so dry. I put like th this thick of a moisturizer on, but um, yeah, I might actually take advantage of my hair and take a few pics today. It's not like the best weather. Oh, it's all right, it might clear up, but um. I just made a coffee. Um, my plans for today are 
smash out these orders. I've got, I think, 37 from memory from yesterday and today. Um, and then we may or may not go and get a Christmas tree if they're in stock today, this afternoon or tomorrow. Because I feel like because we're not going to be here for Christmas, we still... It feels weird not having a Christmas tree around this time of the year, especially seeing everyone else's beautiful stories. So